Hey everyone, it's Libby from Master Tarot. Absolute pleasure to have you along with me this evening. Uh, yes, it's a bit late. I've got two, every single light in the place is going. I've got two uh, bedside lamps uh, aiming at myself and at the table, so hopefully the lighting is okay tonight. A um, little bit late tonight, I uh, took uh, my mum, Granny, uh, who is undergoing chemotherapy treatment at the moment for uh, quite a nasty form of leukaemia. Took her in for her bone marrow this morning, uh, absolutely breezed through, sweet as, not a problem, in and out, brought her home for, uh, she had a nap, because um, it is exhausting, chemotherapy, had a nap, and then uh, lunch, now taking her temperature regularly, I have been taking it three times a day, but I had taken it at 11 when she woke from her nap and before her lunch, and uh, temperature was 36 point whatever Celsius in the range that it's meant to be. I uh, had lunch and then took her in for her uh, blood tests for her red blood cells and her platelets. And as usual, the nurses trundle around, take the blood pressure and uh, take the temperature because uh, I use an ear one as well uh, with the ear measure. And uh, she had spiked within that two hours up to uh, a high 38 degrees Celsius. So Needless to say, that was all a bit of a drama this afternoon going forward. I had to uh, drop off my niece who was riding a shotgun with me in the car because Granny likes two in the car when she has to travel just in case something happens. I had to drop her, drop my niece off, uh, pack a bag, go back to the up to the hospital, uh, go through the tests for my mum to see if they can, the usual, they then do a pest x-ray, they do uh, nasal swabs, they do urine tests and all the sort of things to see if they can track down what uh, the infection has been caused by and as same with the last time, can't find anything. So then uh, it was up, up to the ward for IV antibiotics and uh, I stayed until after she had dinner and was uh, tipped up and asleep on a saline saline drip. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now, before any of you get worried about me, I am doing fabulously aside from the fact that I look like I'm having a bad hair day. Uh, eating well tonight, I sh uh, I'll have an early night and sleep well because I'm not listening for any sounds and we'll deal with tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, the best laid plans of mice and men, you know, all that jazz and uh, hourly and within the hour plans are changing. So what I'm going to do, I did warn you uh, months ago that things are going to get wild in the lead up to the election to buckle up your seatbelts and things are just getting absolutely crazy. So what I was going to read on today Oh, boy, there's so much more to add. So we'll see how we go. I do want to get a couple of the older um, older readings off the, off the books. And I've got one, if you have a look at my notebook, it goes back one, two, three, four days, at least four days, potentially five, about the Murdoch family feud. Oh, and, uh, and I've been shuffling and I just glanced at the bottom of the deck. The Murdoch family feud, the Fox Empire. So the Fox Empire, um, so what's happened, it's gone to a Nevada court. I haven't had a look uh, to see what's happened since four days ago. It was going to the Nevada court. I gather the court case started uh, yesterday or overnight. Um, so what is what has happened is that the Fox Empire under Rupert Murdoch is, is in, a, in a family trust or in a trust of some sort. All the assets, the company, art, property, etc., were in a trust where there were equal shares to uh, Murdoch's three older children, I believe, James, Elizabeth, and Lachlan. Lachlan is the one, James is fairly moderate, Elizabeth is um, a bit like Mary Trump, I believe, uh, but Lachlan is the far right, uh, yeah, one of those. The far, far, far right, and if you can say it, is even worse than his father. So what happened is that I believe Rupert uh, attempted to change his trust to consolidate everything under Lachlan, so to write out James and Elizabeth. Um, and we're not even getting into the Wendy Deng children yet. I believe there's two children from the Wendy Deng marriage who have not yet come of age. But uh, Rupert tried to consolidate the trust under Lachlan. 
So what's happened is James and Elizabeth is, have taken it to court in Nevada. Um, the the apparently the um, legislation or the constitution of the trust or whatever it is, I haven't looked into it too far too far, but it says Rupert can change the trust big if it is in good faith and for the benefit of his heirs. Not heir singular, his heirs. So uh, the changes that he's made, um, they're challenging as to whether it's legal or not. So oh, do we really care? I suppose so, because uh, Rupert Murdoch unfortunately seems to have with his Fox Empire, which includes uh, the the trash rags over in the in the UK, trash rag newspapers in the UK. I believe it's got is it the Washington Post or something in the US as well? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. How will Elizabeth and James go trying to get the rewritten trust? overturned or the attempt to rewrite the trust overturned. Let's have a look. How is this court case going to go for Elizabeth and James? And to be honest, as a citizen of the world, I would love for them to win uh, because uh, Lachlan having the majority to be able to override the more, two more moderate siblings is uh, very worrisome. So let's have a look. How how will this court case in Nevada, the Murdoch Empire court case, go for James and Elizabeth? How will it go for James and Elizabeth? Oh, you want me to stop there? Okay, come on down. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, sorry about yapping so much. Oh, that light looks okay. Right. Let's give it a go. Um, how's it going to go for James and Elizabeth? I think they might come out on top. Uh, this is about finding balance. This is finding about moderation. It's it's about a rebalancing. Uh, it's about hope and healing as well. But it's more about the star of hope and healing. It's not the temperance card, but it is the best of the legal system. And the fact that she is balancing the two jugs there, the water, um, says to me that I think uh, James and Elizabeth have got a serious case here. Okay, second signifier, mm, challenged by the Empress. So something uh, expansive and new coming forward, the birth of something new. It's also the feminine energy. Oh, Wendy Dang. Oh, I wonder if Wendy Dang's going to step in on this as well and, and demand that it be split five ways. Okay, so the challenge is going to be a very powerful matriarch female. Um. I know Rupert, did he remarry again recently at the age of 174? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Um, you really got to wonder that the motives of someone marrying uh, someone of the, his age. But, yeah, so we've got a matriarch figure here weighing in. The foundation is, well, I can call it victory, celebration, cheers, it's also my be careful what you wish for card, but this is the foundation. I think they're going to be, James and Elizabeth are going to be successful. Here it is going to the court case, the, a decision that needs to be made, a legal decision that needs to be made. The blindfold needs to be taken off. So, yeah, that, that was it in the past, going to the court case, crowning this reading. Movement forward with a volatile message. So it's um, going to be slow movement forward. There's go okay, thank you. Okay. What I'm being told, it's going to move slowly like they all do. It's going to grind, grind, grind. The only ones that win out of court cases are, are lawyers at the end of the day. But it's going to get quite volatile is what I'm getting. It's going to get quite volatile. There's going to be, I think there's going to be some muck slanging. There are secrets that are going to be bought up and exposed in the near future. Icky, icky. Externally for James and Elizabeth, though, they've got strength on their side. I'm going to say they have a case. They have a solid case here. Internally, uh, because they feel like that they have been... Um, I'm going to say they feel like they've been shafted. 
by Rupert changing um, changing his will uh, to the uh, consolidate to the benefit under Lachlan. They feel like they, that they had been forced to the background um, and una- and um, I'm just going to say they feel like they got shafted. <laughs> yeah, hopes and fears, a new beginning. So this is about a new start to the, the Murdoch empire. A lot of emotions, but also a partnership. Ooh, now, a new partnership, an emotional cleansing and a new partnership. Now, I am wondering when, I'm going to say when, Elizabeth and James win this case, are they going to form a partnership and force Lachlan out? Because here we've got new beginnings, new start, new start, new start for the Murdoch Empire. And then we have the infighting family bickering going on between the three siblings with the three of pentacles. Um, There is secrets that, hmm, it's about the money. I'm just going to say it's about holding on to the money of which comes the power, uh, keeping it in the family with the four uh, four of wands trying to keep it. So drawn to, okay, if I say Susan, James, and one of Wendy Dang's children, that's who I think is going to come out on front, in front. Now, if I keep going, what have we got? We've got taking the higher ground to fight for what they feel is right, chariot, Movement, slow movement forward, but bringing the ship into harbour. So, oh, and then we've got the wheel of fortune at the at the bottom of the deck there. So, I am going to say, my vibes. No, what the cards are saying is that um, I think Elizabeth and James are going to be successful in challenging any revised. Uh, will. I mean, we've made a uh, Rupert still alive, but whatever. Um, and I do feel that Elizabeth and James will then join forces to start a, a new era of the Murdoch Empire. So let's, I'll just have a look. Um, if you're interested, I'm using the Gilded Tarot Royale. Uh, and I feel that they're actually going to join forces with Wendy Dang and at least one of Wendy's children. She's got two, possibly the eldest. Okay, let's have a look. How's how's this court case going to go for Lachlan Murdoch? Lachlan Murdoch. Now, what prompted me to do this reading was um, very, very briefly, uh, Hogar Lee on Hogarth's Global Astrology touched on it when I... Uh, watched um, watched yesterday's live as a recording last night, late last night before I went to sleep. Okay, so how's this court case going to go for Lachlan Murdoch? And you want that one. How's it going to go for Lachlan Murdoch? Come on down, let's have a look. Ah, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, okay, trying to hold on to the money, trying to move forward with the money, but it's also my mercenary. So how's it going to go for Lachlan? He sees himself out on a limb by himself as the mercenary to carry forward the Murdoch, Murdoch Empire. Oh, okay, challenged by... Uh, the Apprentice? Hmm, no, not The Apprentice. The, the mm, Challenged by, it's just money. The money, the money that is involved. It's all about the money for Lachlan. Goodness me. Now, I was talking to my mum yesterday while she was still here uh, having dinner and uh, we were talking about the philanthropy philanthropists, and I'm sure I've, I've missed a blur in the middle there somewhere, uh, there was a lady in Auckland who who um, uh, was married to a specialist doctor and they'd made a lot of money and she, they were still alive, but she sort of said, well, we only need this much to survive on, they'd invested well, and they were giving the rest away to worthy causes. Um, 
medical research, uh, education, those sorts of causes. So, but for Lachlan, nah, it's all about making more money. Money, 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 money. Okay, the foundation for him, he has the court case. This is really, it's almost like this is more personal for him than it is for the other two. Now, I know it is intensely personal. But Elizabeth and James had the court case in the past. Lachlan's got it as his foundation. In the past, he, he bought his ship into harbour. He got Rupert to change the change the the trust or the the his will or whatever he got to change. But that's in the past. His plan to bring his ship into harbour. Which was to get the get the the um, succession changed. It worked in the past, but now it's facing this legal action. Crowning the reading, goodness me! Similar, you know, some of these cards are popping up again. It's all about hanging on to the money for Lockler. Hanging on to the money. His feeling of insecurity. Lachlan's not the oldest. James is the oldest son. Oh, I'm getting middle child syndrome insecurity. Now, I'm a middle child, and yeah, I know what that was like, but I grew out of it uh, because what appeared to happen is the oldest uh, got the got everything first and the youngest was the baby in the family. Sorry, I'm messing with your light there. The youngest was the baby in the family, and, and the middle one often can feel um, overlooked. And I'm feeling that Lachlan feels feels like he when he grew up, because Elizabeth, being the only girl of the three eldest and the baby, got a lot of the attention. James, being the eldest, got a lot of attention. Lachlan in the middle uh, has had da has daddy issues, and uh, I think he's he's coming from a place of insecurity and a need to prove himself. The immediate future. For Lachlan, how's this court case going to go for Lachlan? Well, again, Elizabeth James and one of the Dean children are bringing a powerful message that they have um, that is complete. It's a solid message. Got the four corners here, the four pillars holding it up. Externally for Lachlan, another two. But here he is, looking very not happy, juggling a money decision, juggling his money decision, while the ship gets rocked, uh, ship gets wrecked on the rocks. So the ship that he thought he had bought in is now ending up on the rocks while he's going through this this court case. Internally, he's finding himself isolated. He's finding himself isolated, shining a light to try and find a path out, and he's finding in his path there is a snake. So it it's not plain sailing. He has... There's, the snake that he is, which is the court case, has now been put in his path and he's being isolated. Hopes and fears. I think that's his fear, the strength of his sister Elizabeth. And and she's got James at her side. I am really feeling that Elizabeth is, is the driving force in this. Oh, do not cross a woman ever, is the driving force in this. But she's got James giving her support by her side. The outcome for Lachlan, uh, he's going to be faced with a harsh truth about the empire and his position as emperor of the empire. And he, it's not going to work out how he likes. There are cups spilt here. He's being forced to walk away. It is not going to end how he likes. He's got this win at any cost, abuse of power mentality. 
lying, stealing. He's going to feel betrayed. Oh, gosh, the second stealing card. There's going to be some yick coming out here. He's going to feel like it was stolen from him. Thank you. He's going to feel like it was stolen from him. He's going to feel like they've ganged up on him and they are abusing their power. I'm talking about Elizabeth and James and do not underestimate Wendy Deng. Um, he was he was all prepared to take it all for himself. That's what he was all pre he was prepared to do and that's what he intended to do and that's what he was going to do. But he's going to feel like it was stolen from him and he may find himself on the outer as the Murdoch Empire steps into a new start, a new plan, a new messaging, a new way of doing things. I'm just looking to see what's coming. We've got the hanged man uh, being stopped and things being seen from a different point of view. Lachlan may also be sac the one that is sacrificed, tossed off the Murdoch wagon, tossed off the Murdoch wagon because he is even worse than his father and he's the one that's going to find himself out in the cold. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. It's very gossipy. Um, you know, I'm not terribly upset, but I do. I'm, I am getting from both of those angles that Elizabeth and James are going to uh, win and win the court case to have it three ways. Um, possibly, may even go four ways with the Deng children having the fourth segment, is what I'm hearing. Uh, but whichever way it goes. Lachlan, pack your bags. Okay, I'll leave it there. Love to you all. Bye-bye.